Jimmy! Brilliant, isn't it? Did you do that? Me? What makes you think that? Don't just stand there. Help me get this off. What are you gawping at? I wouldn't bother with that. It's a waste of time. Did you do this? You know what it's like for vandals round here. They'll just keep coming back and doing it again. Jackie, just leave it, eh? If you want a bit of advice, I'd say move house, get right out of here. Because these vandals, once they start on you, they never give up. Your boyfriend dying had nothing to do with us. You sold him them drugs. Prove it. Hey, there's still some left in here. You don't mind if I have it, do you? You never know when it might come in handy. What's up with you? Why take that from the likes of her? Because she's right, isn't she? Come on. Let's get this off. Oh, my God, look at her. I'm so glad my mum's left him. She'd have died of shame. I think your dad's right, though, you know. Jackie must have done it. It's good, though, isn't it? Oh, it's not funny, Mike. I still can't believe me dad and Gary having anything to do with drugs. I'm really dad and husband. I never want to see either of them ever again. Well, a couple more days and you won't have to. Turkey, here we come. I should be packing, but... I'm not sure what to take. I mean, is it, is it going to be hot there or what? Well, you know, not just now, but it will be in the summer. Imagine the bronzies we're going to have. I just feel as if I don't know anything about the place, Mike. I mean, what's the food like? Is it all curries and hot stuff and now? Oh, it's not one of those places, is it, where the women have to cover their faces up? No. No, Ankara is a big modern city. I just hope we'll be all right. What about schools? It's not long till Kylie has to start. Look, it's not going to be like out in Mongolia, you know. We'll be all right. We'll get sorted. We'll find a school. And then, I don't know, maybe we could just stay there for the summer and then move on. I'm just a bit scared, that's all. Won't be anything like here, though, will it? Well, we won't find out till we get there, will we? Look, we'll be OK, I promise you. And it's our only way to be together. Oh, I've got to sort some money out and then I've got to go and get the tickets. Well, I haven't touched any of my mum's money that she got for the car, so we should be all right. Yeah, and I've still got some money in the building society and I'm going to get something from my guitar, so... You can't sell that. Well, there's no point me taking it over there with me, is there? If you sell it, you'll only regret it. Oh, don't mind, please. It's part of you. We'll manage. Anyway, we'll serenade me if you sell your guitar, eh? I just wish we could be there now, today, before anyone can stop us. No one is going to stop us, all right? All right. Yeah. Well, come on. You'll have me knackered before we start. Take it easy, will you? Oh. I'll warm the muscles up first. Oh, it's all right for you, Pluto. I haven't got any muscles, have I? Listen, I want to get rid of that if it kills me. Yeah, well, just as long as it doesn't kill me first, all right? All right, come on. Oh, dude, do you think he's done that? I don't know. Come on. You'll have to put that Dixon girl in her place. Just forget about it, will you? You have to tell us straight. We can't have her doing this again. Give us some more of that thin it, will you? All gone. Oh, we'll have to get some more. I'll just leave it. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? Oh, I don't care. To hell with it, I'm going in. Oh, well, suit yourself. It's your house. And my hands are knackered anyway. God, I'm shy to drop off yours. You never there. Convenience perks, love. You never know where I am half the time. Half the time? Yep. Uh, look, I've been thinking what you said about being normal, just friends and that. I thought the two of us might go out tonight. No strings attached. I don't know. Look, surely something to eat and a few drinks would make a change from being stuck in. I mean, when was the last time you went out, eh? Yeah, but a meal and a drink, it seems, you know. All right, then, we'll go to pictures. There's a couple of films I'd like to see, and then. Not the pictures. Why? It's dark and too intimate. 
I know. Our cow says you like bowling. How about that, then? <sighs> if someone sees us... What's there to see? Look, no one except us knows what's happened up there. People know I'm staying here, so all they'll see is Eddie Banks and his daughter-in-law keeping each other company. Now, what do you say? OK. Yeah. See you later. Surely he's not selling carpets now. Not as lucrative as selling heroin, is he? You saw what it said earlier, then. Yeah. Well, who do you think could have done it? Could have been anyone. Not exactly Mr. Popular, is he? No, not with police raids and guns and everything. How are you? No, better not, thanks. I'm sorry, Max and I haven't had the chance to offer our condolences. We're really sorry about your boyfriend. Thanks. If there's anything at all I could do to help. Yeah. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask. It's this job in your shop. Have you given it to anyone yet? No luck so far. Only I was wondering if you'd give it to Casey, just temporary like. I thought she was into her dancing career. Well, she was, but she hasn't been able to get a job since her panto finished. She's really worried about money. And I'm sure she'd be racing the shop. She did work there with me mum, had it, you know. Oh, well, I think it might be best if she came to see me, yeah? OK, yeah, I'll tell her. Hey, hey. Hello. Are right. oh, you having any of that? Yeah, no, I don't believe it. How do you think he'd be fit for a few yards of shag pile, Pat? Well, he certainly beats his old career, hands down. Hmm. You're doing training or something? <laughs> the Olympics makes me personal training. Huh? Yeah, we've still got a long way to go yet, though. <laughs> what, did your dad think of all that then, Jack? He reckons whoever did it deserves a pass on the back. Oh, that's what he said, was it? Where was your dad last night? Why? Well, we were just wondering whether he had an alibi, you know. But surely Ron wouldn't... Oh, I don't know. Family feud and all that. Yeah, well, maybe we should just concentrate on getting it removed. Yeah, I'm well, sorry, Jack. We know you must be feeling about drugs and that. I'm sorry to hear about Shane. Yeah, that goes for me and all, Jack. I mean, he was a nice kid. I'd still be here if it wasn't for people like Jimmy Cohill. Jimmy, what are you doing just sitting here? I'm never going to get Jackie back. Not with that lot outside. Even the neighbours are ganging up on us now. For God's sake, fight them, then! Go over there and tell that Jackie Dixon to pack it in. How can I tell the Dixons anything? I killed their son, I killed their daughter's bloke. Shane Cochran was an idiot. He killed himself. Don't let them wreck your life. It's already wrecked. Oh, I can't stand this wallowing in self-pity. Fight! No. Well, I'll sort it then. I'll talk to the girl. I'll get her to stop. You're wasting your time. At least I'm trying. Jimmy Cork, a rug dealer, eh? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna get a shower and then we'll have a session on the exercise bikes. Yeah, OK, mate. What's that? It's a letter from my mum. She got some news for me. Oh, good, I hope. Well, I don't know yet. See you in a bit. All right, mate. Oh, all right, Mike. All right, Teddy. How's Lindsay and the little one? Oh, well, fed up of being prisoners in our place, but not for much longer. I've just been to the plane tickets. We're getting off to live with a mate in Turkey. Oh, you're going for it then, doing a run, eh? Yeah, it's all set for Friday night. All we've got to do is get out without Gary seeing us and, you know, get to that plane. Well, do you need a lift to the airport? No, no, we should be all right. My dad said he'd take us. Oh, it's a pity. I feel sort of involved, you know, with lending in a flat and that. Born romantic, mate. Oh, thanks, anyway. Well, in case you don't see you, all the best, eh? Cheers, Teddy, and thanks for everything, mate. Well, what a mate's for, eh? See you, mate. Better. I don't even know why I bought this. All the knockbacks I've been getting. Just forget about work for one minute, will you? Look, I'm taking you out tonight. I've got no money, I'm skinned. Well, I'll pay. We need to have a bit of fun. The pair of us have been through enough over the last couple of months. Oh, and I've got a surprise for you. Patricia Varner wants an assistant in the gift box, so I'll put her words in for you. But you better be quick. I didn't realise she was staging a musical. Oh, it's best than signing on. <gasps> oh, yeah? I couldn't believe this. Why would anyone take me seriously? I do, but you just think I'm a failure, don't you? I bet Patricia Farnham does as well. Cos, why did you ask? You've shown me up. Hi, love. All right, are you ready to go into town? Only I've got to be back by quarter to two. Uh, look, love, you know these tapes you want? Do you think they could wait till next week? I thought we were getting them today. You said? Yeah, I'm sorry, Lee. Well, I had a few bills on that to sort out. Look, um, I've got £10. 
You'll be able to get something for that, won't you? You must have known you had bills to pay last night when you promised me. Yeah, I know. I, it just went out of my mind, like, and... And you thought you'd blow it all on a one-armed bandit? No! You're lying, Mum. I'm not. Honest. Look, take that. Look, I'll give you some more next week. I'm only taking this to stop you gambling it away. Why do you have to, eh? Oh, I haven't, love. Honestly. Look, don't be silly. I hate this. It's taking over your life. Like some kind of druggie or something like him next door. Not like he used to be. Where are you going? Back to school. It's no wonder Dad left. He don't care. He don't care if he never comes back. Lee! Don't say that! All right, Nick. What's all that about? Haven't you heard? Jimmy Corkle's got a new business. So if you need a bit of phone back for your flat, he's your man. Hasn't he heard of advertising in the Echo? Anyway, what does he know about carpets? Looks like someone's having a go at him. This morning it said Jimmy Corkle, drug dealer. You're joking. Who did that? My money's on old Echo. Anyway, Tess, <coughs> fuck a load of this. That's me in six months, eh? Huh? Let's have a look. Now that's fit. Looks like too much hard work to me. Yeah, well, you gotta be careful at your age, haven't you? You know, you and Simbad. Hey, I thought my ears were burning. <laughs> Makes you say now, I mean, you're gonna keel over if you don't get any exercise. Boys, I'm only being realistic. Mm. Oh, wait, Sin, how many times have you been reading that letter? What'd you say? Is it off your ma? Yeah, well, it's my Uncle Jake. She's got this job for me, and my mum wants me to take it. They both want me to go over to Kangaroo Land. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. What kind of job? Caretaking, looking after Jake's big house. Apparently, he wants a couple, and my mum thought it'd suit me and Mandy. And she wants to see the baby, you know what she's like. Well, go for it. It's just one problem. I haven't told me mum that me and Mandy were split up. Oh, right. Well, this might be the something that gets you back together. Ah, I don't know, Mick. I mean, she's well into the hostel job down in Bristol, isn't she? Well, I'm sure they've got battered wives in Australia. <sighs> I don't know, it's a big step. Well, why don't you ask her? Go ahead, phone her. I think I should? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm just think of all them cheap holidays in Aussie for me and you, eh, Nick? <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna look at a bush at? <laughs> Didn't say I don't wanna go. You just said I wondered if I'm doing the right thing. But it's just all so quick. We're making plans to jet off to another country and getting caught up in this romance. And we're not thinking about Kylie. Well, what about her? It's just that despite everything, Gary has been a good dad to her. He really loves her and and now we're taking it away from him. Oh, my God, it's him. He's coming in. Quick, get in the kitchen. He's come from the bungalow. You don't think Jackie's talking? Just get in the kitchen quick, will you? You all right? Uh, is your Jackie home? Um, no, no, she's probably at work. What do you want? Look, I don't need trouble or anything. I mean, I've not got a problem with you. Yeah. But this spray painted on our place. I reckon she's responsible and I want her to stop. Well, if you think that, you're better off talking to her about it. Well, couldn't you have a word with her? I mean, all that about that Shane lad dying. Me and Jimmy had nothing to do with it, you know. Well, it's got nothing to do with me, has it? Yeah, but you're her brother. Maybe you could make her see sense. Daddy! Look, can I come in and talk to you for a few minutes in private, like? Well, that might be a bit difficult. Um, my dad's due back from the Aussie soon, and I don't want him getting upset finding the cork in the house, you know. Well, do you fancy a pint around the club, then? Just for a chat, like? Well, I would do, but I'm a bit skint, you know. Well, I've got money. Come, Ed. I'd really appreciate sorting this out sensibly. Look, I've just left the water on, and I'll, I'll only be a minute. He wants me to go for the thing when I'm watching it. Girl, I'll just get him out of here before he finds us. Right, I'll be as quick as I can, okay? Okay. Right, let's go. You weren't about to have a bath or anything, were you? You were. Oh no, no, I just um, left the kitchen tap on. Oh. Talk to you, Sheila Sport. Yeah. What's he say, sir? Well. Yeah. They couldn't find her, you know, so I think she's probably too busy to talk and that. Like, so I, I think I'll stick it all down in a letter, eh? That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this day to me and this. Why, what's wrong with it? 
Look like the Michelin man. I just oh, find something else. Don't be soft. It fits you perfect. Leave it on. It should look good. Katie, are you decent? You've got a visitor. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll leave you two little birds alone. Be good. What are you doing over here? I had a bit of a row with my mum. I didn't want to stop in with her. I thought you wouldn't mind me calling in to see you. I'm sorry, Lee. Me and Jackie are going out now. I could come with you. I've got some money. I'm sorry. You'd be very welcome, but we're going to the Luz and you're underage. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm sorry, Lee. You'll have to go home now. Target. There you go. Look, now, look, this is the way that we're doing. You just put it in here, right? I'm all right. Well, I'm only trying to help. Well, I can manage all right. All right, all right. My wife left me over that shooting thing the other week. Yeah, I heard. It was all a misunderstanding, all that gun stuff, you know. A mistake. Someone mistook us for someone else. She still left me, though. She even took Kylie with her. That's some little girl. I'm not letting her get away with that, you know. When I find Look, her... I, um, I need the bug and then I think I better get off. Ah, uh, stay for another pint. Not for me, Tar. Oh, go on. I, I need the best. <laughs> See again, please. So, what are you having then? Um, I'll have a white wine and soda, please. Oh, come on, cheer up. Things could be worse. I mean, at least Lee Banks can't get in here. <laughs> Look, I um, I'd better get off. Hey, I got you another one in. Hey, Mike, what are you doing drinking with him? I am. Um... Oh, not you again. My own brother talking to a cork hill. Jackie, just leave it. I don't know why you can even be seen in public with someone who's selling drugs. Tell her to knock it off, will you, Mike? There's nothing wrong with hearing the truth. You and Jimmy Corbyn know what you've done with your drug dealing. This is rubbish. You've got no right persecuting me. I just want people to know the truth. All right, Jackie, that's enough. You want to ban him from me before he starts trying to sell drugs to all your customers? This is rubbish. It's all in her head. It's the truth. Mike, will you get it out of here, please? Come on, Jack. I think it's time to leave. Hey, you think we should be kicking out? Just leave it, will you? I'm sorry, Jackie, but I think it's best if you went. And you, once you've finished that, you can do one and all. I'll oh, shut up when you tell me what you were doing talking to him. Look, do you think I was doing it out of choice? He came round to the house and I couldn't take the risk of him seeing Lindsay, so I came for a drink with him to get him away. All right, as long as that's all it was. Look, I can't stand him as much as you, but I can't take any chance with him seeing Lindsay and Kylie. OK, but I'm not stopping until everyone knows the truth about him. Yeah, OK, just so long as he doesn't come back on my toes, all right? Junior? Nothing, just hanging around. I thought you'd be in there longer. Um, no, we changed our minds. Oh, great, that means you can come out with us. Where are you off? Katie, do you want to go into town for the Chinese? Uh, no, thanks. Katie's on a diet, aren't you, Katie? Look, can't we do something else, like bowling or something? Oh, great, yeah, I love bowling. Just a drink. What's wrong with that? I'm sorry, but no, no, it's my turn. There's no need to feel guilty about Kylie being deprived of her dad. Not after the way he's carried on. I know, but I do. Well, who wants a father who's involved in selling drugs who might have killed someone because of it? I mean, who wants a father who's got gangsters coming round to the house shooting the windows in? I know you're right, but I just... Well, I'll be a dad. As far as I'm concerned, this has always been the three of us. And I'll do anything I can to get Kylie away from a bloke like that. And if getting her away from drugs and guns is depriving her, then I'm all in favour of it, aren't you? I know, but I still feel a bit guilty. I mean, just disappearing like this is... Well, don't be. I heard him in the club, and I get the feeling he'll get nasty if he sees you again. So don't even think about getting in touch with him about Kylie, cos he doesn't deserve it. Are you sure he doesn't suspect anything about us? I'm positive. And forget all that and all. Just think about Turkey and our future. Oh, God, I've got a knot 
to me, Ace. Here, let me see. Does he put his coat down and puddles for you, or no? There, I've done it. Thanks, Lee. Does anyone fancy a hot dog? Eh, uh, not for me, thanks. Yes, I wouldn't mind. Plenty of tomato sauce, please. Back in a minute. So, where's he taking on your next date then? Trumpton? Oh, don't be mean. It was all right, really. As long as he's getting the hot dogs and the cokes in here. I know you're into bowling. Yeah, well, uh... It's my idea. I asked your dad if he'd bring me. Uh, uh, is your mum with you? No, I've come with Jackie and Katie from the bungalow. We're just down the end. I'm going to get some hot dogs. Why don't you two come and play against us? Yeah, well, uh... Yeah, we can't stay along. Becca's with me. Yeah. Just for a bit. Uh, no, son. Uh, you, you get off and enjoy yourself, eh? I'll come with you two next time. Challenge your dad. Yeah, well, uh, we'll see, eh? What's it look like? Me and you are here together. Yeah, well, I'm sure he doesn't think there's anything wrong with Let's go. Why? I don't feel right with your son around. <sighs> I just want Pearson suspicious. Look, I think you're overreacting a little bit here, Sarah. No one knows what's happened. I do. I feel like everyone's looking at us. I feel like we're a pair of lovers sneaking out together. It's dangerous. Sarah, we've done nothing wrong. We have done something wrong. I don't want anyone to find out about it, Ed. Please, let's go. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> Come on, madam, let's get you dressed. Ah, oh, hey, we were having fun then, weren't we? Yeah. Hey, we're going somewhere nice after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you taking her? Mm -hmm. uh, you mean we? You could not, aren't you? After your lease saw us out bowling the other day, no way. I am allowed to be out with my daughter-in-law. No, Eddie. We went bowling, that's all. But you had us like we were a couple. I don't want anyone suspecting anything. What else did they suspect? What we did. It's obvious you don't think so, but it was wrong. OK, OK. I'll take Becca out and let her enjoy herself. Give you a better time to yourself. Thanks, Ed. You're going to clean that paint off the outside of the house, then? We haven't got any thinners. I thought you were going to get some. I thought you were. If I'm going to work, you can clean that off. Oh, just leave it, will you? Uh, Jimmy, people have done Roman or Casa Beveron outside the house, not rug dealer. We're a laughing stock. Yeah, well, I wish I was dealing rugs instead of smack. Well, you can't turn the clock back. It's too late for all that. Come on, get yourself washed and shaved, get some thinner, get that stuff off, and then get back to work. Look, if you're going, just go, will you? I can't face anything at the moment. All right. Have it your own way. Mollo, you won't get Jackie back this way. At least I'm not giving up on Lindsay. Uh, 
Right, have you definitely got your passport? For the fourth time, yes. Oh, I'm just checking. Right, the tickets, passports, kids' address and phone number. Oh, you know what? We should have got some more some creams, you know, they're going to be expensive over oh, there. Well, hopefully we won't need it after a few weeks, will we, eh? <laughs> this came for you today. Oh, I don't believe it. The driving test come through for next week. Do you think they'll transfer it to Ankara for you? This time next week, I'll have a little on me camera. <laughs> Right, Jerry, come in. Right. Hiya. Hiya. There's a travel line, a kettle, and a couple of adapters in there. Oh, thanks. Been all over with me, them. Spain, Florida. Don't think I'll be needing them again. I would never even thought of taking stuff like that. There's probably loads we'll need just to see what we can get our hands on once we settle in, eh? Big move, eh? Oh, there's no stopping us now. I just can't wait till we're there. What time's your dad taking you to the airport? Oh, he can't take us now. He's got an appointment at the cardiac clinic. The plane doesn't leave till six, so he's going to meet us at the airport. Well, how are you going to get there? Taxi. I've told you, I'll take you. Are you sure? Yeah, it's no problem. Just got a few things to source out at the club, and I'll come back and get you after. Oh, that's brilliant. Ah, that's no problem. You save your money. You're going to need every penny you've got. You just can't leave him alone, can you? Hiya, love. I thought you said you'd packed all that stuff in. Oh, I found it in my pocket from ages ago. <laughs> forgot I had it. Yeah, like you forgot you promised me them videos the other day. Oh, I said I was sorry about that, love. I know. It's just like I can't believe you anymore. You hadn't packed it in at all. No, I was, I was just trying to win us some money. I've got to manage on my own now. It's not easy, love. You wouldn't have to manage on your own if you didn't gamble. That's why my dad won't come back. Look, I mean it now, son. I'm finished with scratch cards and the bingo. There's going to be no more of it. I believe that when I see it. Yeah, but I really mean it now, son. Right. Oh, uh, better get to work. See you later, eh? Ta-da. So, what's all this, then? You got a drink, problem? <laughs> Valentine's night beckons and Grant's is the place to be. Romance, courtship, soft light, seductive atmosphere, and sensual sounding cocktails. And a till full of cash, we hope. So, what's on the menu? Aphrodisiacs? Well, I brought a couple of uh, samples back from the restaurant, and I have a few ideas to talk over with Chef. Now, publicity. Have you had any? Oh, Max, I'm sorry. I've just been up to my eyes in it. Promise. Yeah, I know. I... Oh, OK. I'll do my best. Thanks, but we haven't got long. Anyway, what do you think of this by your clever daughter? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> the nursery gave it to me this morning. Ah. Well, it'll have to take pride of place in the kitchen next to Thomas's. I must say that uh, Alice's artistic attempts are a damn sight better than that, Lord. Yeah, it is a bit like living next to a Moroccan bazaar, isn't it? I mean, why isn't Rod Dixon sorting it out? He's the residence chairman. Oh, maybe he's trying to avoid a confrontation. He has got a weak heart. Anyway, Mick Johnson's theory is that Ron put it there. Oh, look, there's our local drugs baron now. Why don't you go and have a word? No, oh, I don't know. Well, what's the matter? Are you frightened he might pull a gun on you? If I don't do it, no one else will, I suppose. Excuse me. Uh, Jimmy. Um, we were wondering, well, all the residents, actually, when are you going to do something about that mess? Oh, yeah, it's all in hand. It's, uh, it's getting sorted. I'm sorry about it. Uh, Right. Good. Is that all? Yes, yes. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Farnham. Hello, Julia. Oh, you think about buying a new carpet? Sorry? I thought you'd just gone into taxis oh. and now rugs. Mm. It must be this entrepreneurial spirit they keep going on about. <sighs> You know, if he's got any decent bargains, I could do with a new runner in the oil myself. The one I got now, I got for our Tracy's christening do. They were going old at Nairini's, but uh, they were getting the gable end fixed. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I... Oh, listen, though, I'm sorry I can't stand chatting to you, but a word of advice. If you are thinking of getting a carpet off him, don't. It's bound to be knock-off. Uh, Mrs Kennedy. OK, thanks a lot. Bye. Hello, there's young Jackie in. Yeah, come in. I 
brought the keys from Peter. He's gone down to the old sales. Oh, thanks. How are you, love? Oh, you know. I am still in shock. And poor Peter, God love him, he's devastated. He said he felt exactly the same when Noel Gordon died. And how about Shane's poor parents? How have they taken it? Oh, I did expect. I can't believe it's happened. Well, if you don't mind me saying, love, I don't agree with these drug addicts, but whatever that poor lad did, he didn't deserve to go like that. Oh, he was really popular with all the Panto cast. Yeah, but people are making out he was some sort of low life. He wasn't. He really was trying to give up drugs. The papers are making up all kinds. I just take no notice of them. She's right, love. Me and Peter thought he was wonderful. We saw the Panto three times. I thought she had a look of Tommy Steele. Lovely eyes. I'm going over to Australia for the funeral. On your own, all that way? Still trying to get everything sorted out. Flights and that. It's going to cost you the fortune. I don't care. I just want to be out there. Well, I can't say I blame you. I'd do exactly the same myself. Right. I brought you this around. I thought a bit of home cooking might cheer you up. Shall I make us a cuppa? Well, I was just on my way out, actually, Julia. Oh, you love it. Orange and chocolate. Treat yourself. I put pounds on. I won't be so key. Yeah, well, I've already had toast anyway. You look as if you could do the good pan of scouse down you. Have you been eating properly? I know what you youngsters are like for faddy eating. Yeah, of course I have. Right, come on. Let's get that kettle on. Once you see this cake, I bet you can't resist. It's got jelly fruits on top. Yes, could I have a taxi, please? I recognise your voice, and this is your fourth call this morning. Just give us a break, will you? That'll be the same one again, I bet you. Well, aren't you bothered? <sighs> what about? We've had calls for taxis all morning. When the lads turn up, no face. He'll settle down. Jimmy, I can't tell which are the real calls and which are fake. Does it matter? Someone out there's trying to stitch us. And who can blame her, eh? You what? Forget it. You don't think it's that Jackie Dixon, do you? Well, it doesn't take a genius to work it out. Does it? Hi, Ellie. It's me dad in. Yeah, come in. Eddie, it's your Lee. Hello, lad. Hiya. Uh, are you going out? Uh, I was gonna take Becca out, yeah. What's the face for? I've left home. You what? Sorry, babe. I, um. Uh, let's go and get Teddy's coat. What's this all about, lad? I can't live with my mum anymore. I've had enough. Why? What's happened now? It's just the way she is. Look, I know it's a hard son, but. But nothing, Dad. You couldn't stand it either. You had to get out. Well, it was a little bit more complicated than that, son. But I'm the one stuck in with her on my own. Caught in the middle of the two of you. I'm really sorry, son. We never intended her to turn out like this. I never see anyone. My mum's out working or playing bingo or doing scratches. And you're always round here with Sarah. All I want is my family happy again. It's uh, not that easy, though. I know. Do you reckon Sarah might let me stay here? I think it's best if you stay where you are for the time being, just till I see how things pan out. I don't mind staying on the couch. Lee, I've told you. You can't stay here. OK. Look, why don't you come out for the day with us to Wasser's pool? Uh, you're all right. I've got things to do. Yeah, son. Just, uh, hang in there, eh? Things don't work out. OK. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. See? It's all getting too complicated. Lee needs you over there. Don't you think you should go back? Is that what you want? You hit your Lee. We've got to think where all this is going, Ed. Our Lee doesn't suspect anything. Oh, I'm just... I'm just so confused. <sighs> I don't even know why I let it happen oh, now. Don't like to see it under pressure like this. What's 
wrong. Following your feelings can't be wrong. We're going out now, Mummy. But be a minute, love. That's what's wrong. Your granddaughter seeing you kiss me, a mum. That was Corkill's daughter. Uh, what was? In the Dixons' back garden. I thought you said the Dixons and the Corkills didn't get on. Oh, they don't. God knows what goes on in those houses. Right, there you are. Try that. What is it? It's uh, pineapple, brandy, and grenadine. Mm, wow, very nice. What's it called? Voulez-vous. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Couldn't have put it better myself. Mm. There you are. Try that. You're not trying to take advantage of me, are you? <laughs> of course I am. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit sweet for me. Blech. I'm an alcoholic genius. You said it. Right, I've got a couple more I want you to try. Okay, so long as you don't mind using a drunken PR consultant. You deaf old sawyer? Yeah. Right, uh, better go and get Kylie's done. It'll be just our look, Gary spots it. How? Do you think he's got spy satellite apps? <sighs> I suppose I'm just worried that he's going to catch us out at the last minute. If we carefully won't. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Right, I'm going to copy the stage before I get down to the job centre. Oh, isn't it terrible, you youngsters all on the do? I knew that Alex Macmillan spoke too soon, saying that we'd never had it so good. Hey, she's got a chance of a job in Patricia Farnham's shop. Oh, take it, love. Signing on's no good for anyone. I don't really fancy it. I'm hoping another dance job will come up. You can't pick and choose these days, though, can you, love? I mean, I can sympathise with you. I remember being on the dole and I fancied a job in the Meccano office way. Marvellous money and luncheon vouchers. But I had to settle for plucking chickens on a battery farm and cave. I, I reckon you should definitely ask Patricia to book the vacancy. Here, come on. What are you doing? Don't hide your light under a rose bush. Hey, there's no harm in asking, is there? Oh, it's tasting me, though. You're fine. They're on the pale side, but they're not looking for my fair lady, are they? Sorry to disturb you, love, but is your pat in? Yes, she is. Um, it's about the job in the gift box. Unless it's already gone. Hey, listen, I'd better get off. Best of luck, Casey. Yeah, thanks. Uh, no, no, it hasn't gone. Are you both after an interview? Oh, no, it's not for me. It's just for Katie. Oh, right. Well, I'll tell Patricia to get in touch. Oh, we might as well see her now, love. You never get anywhere if you don't grab the cow by the horns. Go on, Katie, love. No time like the present. No. Please, uh... Come in. Look, mate, I don't know what's going on, but I've told you there's no vats in there. You might as well get off. What was he in about? Said he'd had a call. Saying there was vermin in there. Didn't he find the rats? What do you know about it? Fancy him missing you two. You sent him round? Hey, be careful. That's slander, that. Just... Leave the Gary and go inside. She's making fools out of us. Oh, you're off your head, you. Gary, go in. I don't think this is the end of it. You know what you did. And one way or the other, you're finished. I don't care how long it takes, because everybody around here wants you out. So why don't you just go and do yourself a favour? Serving in the shop and taking note of the stock. It'll be part time, but I might need you to do full days sometimes. Oh, that sounds all right. Um, would you be working Saturdays? <laughs> yeah, afraid so. It's our busiest day. Well, I have to work Saturdays in the salon, and I've got my hospital voluntary job as well. So the job description meets with your approval, then, does it, Julie? Oh, I sounds highly suitable. Uh, so, is there anything you'd like to ask, Katie? Um, well, would I get time off if an audition came up for a dance job? Oh, yeah, that should be all right, so long as we're not too busy. And provided you give notice. Oh, you can't say fair than that, can you, love? Which is more than I can say for some employers these days. They treat the staff like muck. Not that we think you would be like that, like. <laughs> right, anything else? Um, no. Sounds fine to me. Excellent. 
Well, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll show you the ropes. Race, I'll be there quarter now. Right, now that's sorted out, perhaps uh, you could show these nice ladies to the door and we can continue with our research. Research? On what? Uh, creating cocktails for the restaurant, actually. Oh, I love cocktails. <laughs> yeah, so do we. W would you like to try this one? Oh, that's very nice of you. Oh, oh, that's strong. Hey, you try that. Oh, I'm all right, thanks. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. Tyler, will you put a brandy in the next one, please? Right, yeah? Oh, yeah. No saying I'm back now, eh? No, everything's boxed off. Right, shall I take some of them bags out of the car? No, it might be better if you back the car into the garage, then we can sneak Lindsay and Kylie out. Hey, I've just seen Jimmy and Gary over by the shops. They're busy. No, I just don't want to take any chances, that's all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. We'll not off. I'll be glad when we're on our way. Right, I'll back the car up. Yeah, I'll just grab some of these bags. A few hours from now, we'll be starting a new life together. Well, let's get going, eh? Right, have you got everything? Hey, stop flapping. We've got it all. Passports, tickets, money. But most of all, we've got each other. Are there any more you want us to sample, love? No, I think we've tried everything now. I don't think we've had that green one yet, though, have we? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you mean this one, yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> we didn't. Right, this one is called Boisson de la Mour. Mm. Oh, it's a bit sharp. I like it, though. There you are. What do you think to that? Oh, God bless us and save us. That's powerful. It's too strong for me. Have you got a snowball, love? Yeah, and I wouldn't mind something non-alcoholic if you've got it. Do you know how many calories there are in a gram of alcohol? How many? Seven. There's four calories per gram in carbohydrates, so alcohol's more fattening than the same weight in, say, bread. Really? Well, I'd rather have a snowball than a round of toast. <laughs> Look, I'm not advocating that anyone becomes an alcoholic or, indeed, obese. All these drinks are for Valentine's night. The theme is l'amour, romance. I don't call how many calories has yours got much of a chat-up line. Yeah, but I put pounds on if I started drinking. Oh, I see. The restaurant owner's number one enemy, uh, Weight Watcher. Oh, you're not in a diet, are you, Katie? No, it's just some days I can take all the evening food. Oh, nothing that a good meal wouldn't put right. Um, look, I'd better get down the job centre. Thanks for the cocktails. <sighs> Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye, love. Well, don't let us detain you, Julia, if, uh, if you've got somewhere to go. I tell you what, I'll just try a drop of that blue stuff and then I'll get off to the butcher before all the shim beef goes. <laughs> Come on, you have to get a move on, you know. You're only just going to make it. Come on, then, it's all clear. Hiya. Uh, all right, Julia. Oh, we've had a ball in there. Cocktails, blue ones, red ones, the lot. Oh, he's a good host, that Max fan. I'm a bit tight on the measures, but... Uh, oh, are you off somewhere, are you? No. Yeah. Well, they mean they're not going very far. Oh, uh, where to, then? Eh. Uh. Have you two been on the cocktails as well? <laughs> um, they're going on a boozy weekend, Julia. <laughs> Ah, well, enjoy yourselves, but none of that drink and driving. OK, Julia, see ya. Sorry about this. It's all right. Come on, love. Oh, I'll get it. Hey, quick as you can, Mike. Listen, Terry, thanks for everything you've done. I'm just glad to help. Hey, you'll have to make sure you're right. Yep, I've got all the addresses. Oh, I think this is exciting. I'm romantic. Do you think they celebrate Valentine's Day in Turkey? Well, if they don't do now, they will do once we get there. <laughs> hey, come on, Flash, get a move on. You'll, uh, you'll have to get back in the house. Why? Well, that was Keith. It's all off. Oh, hello, love. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's have your sports kit. I'll get a wash on. Uh, you're all right. Oh, I'll need washing. I'll get all musty in there. Come on, let's have your stuff. It's not me footy kit. Well, what's in there, then? to be clothes. I was going to leave home. What? I still am. The only reason I'm back now is because there's nowhere for me to go. My dad doesn't want to know me either. Lee, what are you talking about, love? I'm not staying here, Mum. You don't know what it's like watching you tearing into each other, not speaking. It's terrible and it does my head in. Look, parents always disagree. It's not just knocking. It's you. I feel ashamed of you. 
You're a gambler and have you even robbed to pay for it? You're not my mum anymore. I can't stand it here. As soon as I can, I'm leaving. Lee! No, I'm sorry. Please don't go. I just want you and me dad back together. No, all right. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll, I'll, I'll see someone. I'll talk to people. Honest, I mean it. I will. Just do it. Get me dad back or I'm leaving. Keith got the sack for going on holiday. Yeah, yeah, before he went away, there was no problem. But when he got back, he'd lost his job and he'd give his apartment to someone else. So what now? I don't know. We've got to find somewhere. I mean, I can't stay cooped up in this house for the rest of my days. We've spent most of our money now. We won't get that back off the flights. Look, don't miss an opportunity like this. Why don't you still go? You've got your flights. You'll find a job, Mike. Both of you as well. <sighs> no, no, it's too risky. I can't just turn up in a foreign country with Lindsay and Kylie and no job, nowhere to live. Mike, you'll find something out there. On our own, yeah, I'd risk it, but... I mean, not with a child. It's not fair on her. Well, we've got to do this properly or we'll just end up back here. Mike's right. You're going to have to find somewhere else to go. Yeah, but... Well, we've got to sort something soon. I mean, the longer we stay in this house, the more chance there is of Gary finding us. Hey, hey, listen, this game for you, mate. Got a Bristol postmark. Something from your Monday. Oh, this could be the big one, eh? Right. All right, lads. All right, All right sir. Says. Well, maybe open it then. See if she's gonna go towards me, dear. I'm scared. Why? Well, I mean, this could tell me whether me and Mandy have got a decent future together or not, couldn't it? Come on, open it. It might be good news. Do you reckon? Go ahead. Yeah. Can I come in? I'm busy. I've done you some tea and toast. All right, come in. What are you doing? A painting. No! Painting what? Black! Well, that's just the background. I'm going to do some animation on it as well. well you should ask first. Mind you, I suppose it is your room. I'm going to be spending a lot of time up here, so. All right. It's a little bit dark. Yeah, Mum? Yeah. Are you going to see me dad? Yeah, today. I'll go on the hairdresser first, make a real effort with myself. And just like I promised you, everything's going to be sorted out. Honest. I'll go over there telling me you coming, if you like. No, it's OK. Thanks. I'll do it. I wonder what's going on there. How do you mean? Well, I wondered why there was only a couple of cabs about last night at closing time. He's got painted on the door, closed down, gone out of business. Yeah, I suppose it's just a matter of time. Is it really like the ball, anyway? Mm. Well? She doesn't want to come with me. I don't know. Brand new start for me, Erin Ruth. She's knocked me back. Why? I better go. The same? Forget it. Who cares, anyway? Jackie Dixon's never going to give up, is she? She's off her head. Well, this is what she wanted. Her business down the pan. 
Not a taxi in sight. We've got to stop her. Is there any point? Yeah. We've got to get some money from somewhere. There must be a law against this sort of thing. It's harassment. Forget the law. I'll phone round the drivers, see where they are. Well, you might have given up, but I haven't. And I'm not going to do nothing about Lindsay, either. I'm going to sort air and a few things out. Just accept it, will ya? Jackie and Lindsay don't want to know us anymore. They're never coming back. Your wife might be sunning herself in Tenerife, but I reckon mine's hiding somewhere, and I'm going to find her. No, I'm sorry she's not in. You shall say called. All right, then. Bye. your first day at work? Oh, mm, yeah. Can't wait to get stuck into all those cards and dry flowers. Mm, stop it. You make me jealous. You just missed that fella on the phone again. Oh, did he leave his name? No, he says he'll call back. I thought you were in work. Yeah, I was just on my way. I'll walk around with you. I've just picked up my flight tickets for Australia. Shane's parents gone back yet? Yeah. yeah. Taking his body back today. That must be terrible for them. I wish I was going back with them now. Yeah. Best than flying all that way on your own. They're gonna meet me off the plane at the other end. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I get on with them really well. He said I could stay at theirs and, you know, he'd show me round where he went to school, meet his friends. Oh, come on. Some days I feel okay, and then others, I can't get them off my mind. I just keep thinking about them, the way we used to have a laugh. Oh, see, the thing is, since I stopped playing football, I haven't been that interested in keeping fit. Ah, but once you get started again, you'll love it. What, just because you do? No. Look, come over to our place later and have a workout. I'll show you the basics. Well, I don't know whether I could be bothered. Tez, what does anyone have that's more important than the body? Um, season ticket for the cop. Oh, no, come on, seriously. Oh, look, I know it's important to be fit and that, but aren't you getting a bit carried away with it? Listen, Tez, we... I'm making money here. Decent money. And I'm putting a bit by in and there, you know? Money for the kids in case they want to go to college or something like that. But I want to be fit enough to see them grow up. To see their kids grow up. I'm all they've got, Tess. And what about Ron Takeaway? I mean, he almost died. In fact, he did die for two minutes. Heart attack. Not enough exercise, mate. Yeah, I understand that. But bodybuilding. Yeah, all right, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I get a buzz out of looking good. Feeling stronger, you know, lifting the heavy weights and that. You see, most guys who say they don't want big arms and decent chest, they're just lying to themselves. What they really mean is that it's too much of a hassle to make the effort, having the discipline. Oh, all right, I'll give it a try, but I don't promise to do it as often as you. All right, well, starting's the first hurdle. But hey, stick with me, kid, and uh, we'll get rid of that little bundle. <laughs> all right, sir. Ah, uh, suddenly I don't feel as though I'm in a minority. Listen, Sim, I've talked Tessa to do a bit of training with us. What do you mean, us? Oh, come on, mate, you need it. You don't take your mind off things. You mean take your mind off getting a Dear John letter off Mandy, don't you? I know, you're feeling rough. I've been there. But well, we all have. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. It should. Listen, Sim, be honest with yourself, mate. I mean, do you really believe, I mean, deep down in the air, that you was ever going to go to Australia with it? Me? Hey? Look, I know it hurts to admit it, but it was probably never on the cards, was it? Nah. Never a chance. I was stupid even to build me hopes up. I just wanted to do what makes her happiest. Right. So get on the weights and get all that aggression and upset out in the gym. You're not me and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you very much, Jane. Thank all you. Right. Hiya. Hi, are you OK? Yeah, all. Guess what? I just spoke under the mystery caller. Who was he? The journalist wanted to speak to me about Jane. Are you going to? No. I'm not giving them any more. I'm out of chuck. I just put the phone down. 
No, I don't blame them. They'll twist every word you say anyway. Well, they'll get nothing out of me, even if they do offer me money. Um, my dad's taking you put this up in the window. He's organising pancake races next week. Oh, well, I'd better check with Patricia first. What should be in late? All right, bit of a snob. Well, it's only little, isn't it, for the residence thingy? Mm. Hey, we'll have to have a go. It'll be a laugh. Oh, couldn't eat pancakes. Mm, I know, too many calories. Well, I know I'm not doing the pants anymore, but that doesn't mean I can let everything go. Casey, there's not a pick on you. I don't end up like Sinbad. Well, I think it'd be a while before you have to start worrying about that. Fat or no fat, whatever you're eating or not eating isn't doing you much good, is it? What do you mean? Well, for a start, your skin's not been in the best condition lately, has it? It's all right. Casey, I run a beauty salon. I know when somebody's got healthy skin and... You've still got spots. All right. I'll save up my £3.15 an hour and get a facial out. I'll give you the discount, but that's only a temporary fix. You need to sort your diet out. No trace of them. Went back to Val's, round the shops, airmates. What's a score here? What's it look like? What are you doing? We need these. You're wasting your time. Finished. Oh, some divvy girl starts messing us around and you pack your business in just like that. You'll twig on one of these days. You what? My owl fellas always used to be going on to me and our Billy. You reap what you sow, boys. Reap what you sow. And I used to think, what's he on about? Only now I know. Too late as it happens. But at least I've twigged on. Jimmy, what are you on about? I'm tired. I'm tired of all the scams. I'm tired of dodging the busies. I'm tired of lying to my wife and kids. And most of all, I'm tired of it. Don't just give up on your business, eh? We've got six cars left, Gary. Six. We haven't got a business. We haven't got family. No one wants to know us. It's over, Gary. All over. And the sooner you realise that, the better. Well, thanks a lot. Feels really nice. No, you look great. Well, like I say, I hope it's appreciated. Hey, how could anyone resist you looking like that? Oh. Jackie, the phone. Um, I'll have to get. All right. Toronto, thanks. <sighs> Hiya. All right. I've. Uh... Just been over to the house, uh, pick up a few things, you know. Oh, nice. Uh, Did you get what you were after? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's uh, still a few bits and pieces, but uh, I can pick them up another time. Anyway. Eddie. Yeah? Um, I, uh, I, I don't want an answer to this right away. But, um. Go on. I want. I want you to think about coming back home. And, and like I say, I don't want an answer to this right away, cos, well, I have sprung it on you, like, but, um, I just... I just want you to go away. Think about it. Well, there we are, I've said it. Just... Just think about it. Hey. Check your mirror. Right, what's the drill when you're gonna turn the corner? Hi, Lens. Do you wanna pass this test or not? Yeah, of course I do. Well then. Right. Mirror, indicate and maneuver. Go on then. Now exaggerate your movements. Don't just move your eyes, move your whole head. Makes the examiner think you're really looking. So, what if I move across like this and the examiner thinks I'm gonna kiss him? Well. If it was me, I'd let you, and I'd pass you with flying colours. 
Lovely, yeah? That's the motto we're following here. Do you know what? You get more sadistic by the hour, do you know that? Hey, you're only on the warm-ups yet. I'm going to be doing proper member cards and be charging you. Oh, that's it. I've had enough. It'll be worth it. It says you lose pounds, mate. I'm going to do with a new pair of legs. Yeah, come here. I'm going to never quit. It's the only way, boys. I tell you what, though. Doesn't mean nothing with the women, does it? How do you mean? Well, I mean, if I was to go by that, I'd be down in Bristol persuading Mandy to come to Australia with me. Did she give you a good enough visa when she wouldn't go? Yeah, well, she's too committed to the job in the refuge to give it up, you know. I mean, I knew deep down, but you live in hope, don't you? Well, at least she was off front about it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go out to Australia if she wasn't 100% committed, would you? No. And her bottom line is, well, it's helping her to get over losing Beth. I think she feels she's doing something positive for all the other victims of the other Trevor Joe dashes, you know. Oh, the thing is, what do you do now? He just settles down and gets on with his life. What? Well, he's got a chance of going off to Australia on his own. He ain't, will you? Hey, do you mind? I am here, you know. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I've got to keep my options open, haven't I? I mean, there's nothing here for me now, is there? I mean, I've got no family here, just a couple of mates and that's it. I mean, I'm 40 next year, anyway. What have I got to stay here for? Oh. Hey, thought you were supposed to drive the car up some country lane first. It's not a one. You scared us to death. I'm just doing a practice for my test tomorrow. You're not going to snog the examiner, are you? Anyway, something's turned up. Is your video camera working? Yeah. Good, I've got you the job. Doing what? Well, it's only one off. Peter's doing the hair at a fashion show and then he's a video and the camera bloke hasn't turned up. And you got Mike the job? Yeah, I spoke to the organiser and says I knew someone who could help out. Cash in hand as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you better get a move on. All right, okay, then we'll go down in this. I can do a practice run for tomorrow. Yeah, well, as long as you don't try and snog me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, bye. Mmm. Talent. Well, that's a nice one, this, isn't it? Yeah. I wish Mum and Dad would have kept giving each other Valentine's card. I mean, you can know it's off, but it doesn't matter, does it? That's 160, please. All right. Thanks. So, have you given up the dancing, then? No. It's just without getting any work, unless you want to go abroad, and then they always seem to want to topless. Uh -huh. I mean, you can make a lot of money, like, but it's not my scene. Mm -hmm. It's hard. I don't blame you. I feel a bit past the tassel stage myself. <laughs> Hello. See ya. Hello, love. Hey, eh? Oh, have you come to buy Valentine's for your older woman? Mum, it's, it's mate's birthday. I'm just getting him a card. Oh, oh, right. Have you spoken to me, Dad, yet? Yeah. I had a quick word with him before. I'm going to sort some tea out, then I'm going to go and see him. Oh, good luck, Amy. Yeah. See you later, love. Hiya. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah, how's things going? You're not as bad as I thought. It's work for you, eh? Yeah. Something wrong? No, no. Why are you standing like that? Like what? Yeah, I've been painting my bedroom. You'll have to come and have a look. Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I've gone for a manga theme. <clears throat> I don't suppose I could have a glass of water. I'm feeling a bit thirsty. Um, not okay. Yeah, but I get to my test and I just lose it. Eh? I don't know why. You drive all right, so the field's head safe. Do you reckon, yeah? Michael, the red light! Oh. What are you? It's good, good job no one was coming the other way, wasn't it? Um, I think you've uh, been caught out. <laughs> oh, no. Look, just take it easy and no smart answers, eh? Well, I'm gonna lose my licence before I've even got it. <sighs> 18! Go it! 19! Oh. Yeah, nice one, sis. Oh, what are we going to do this once in here? Hey, I'm going for every Preston Guild. I'm telling you, boys, it gets easier. Hey, look out. Make sure the weights are bolted down. All right, fellas. 
What are you off to, Jimmy? Uh, not I was just uh, watching you working out there, you know, having a laugh and that. And, uh, well, I was wondering if... Jimmy, just save his embarrassment and go, please. Hold on, mate. No, no, you listen, Jimmy. I've got two kids to bring up here. And I have to look out across the close and see murderer and drug dealers scrawled everywhere. They ask questions, Jimmy. My Gemma is eight years old. And I'm telling her about smack because of the likes of you. And you want to come over here and work out with us? Go home, Jimmy. You'll leave yourself to blame. Sid? I'm with them. Well, I thought we were mates. Yeah, well, we're not anymore. We got back years. Shared a flat together. Almost grew up together, you and me. Jimmy, to you, a mate is someone you can use or you can stitch up if there's some money to be made out of them. You're going nowhere, Jimmy. I used to feel sorry for you, but not anymore. You don't even care, do you? I do. Well, you don't care enough. I don't want to know you anymore, Jimmy. I don't want to be anywhere near you. I'm, I'm going to the other side of the world to get away from people like you. Me and him are finished. Mm. Going off to Australia? Yeah, well, why not? Mandy's happy. Why shouldn't I grab a bit of happiness? You don't get off because of the likes of Corgill. Oh, Mick, there's more to it than that. I mean, I've got family over there, haven't I? Family that I always wanted. But I mean, there's nothing for me here now. But there's a lot to look forward to in Australia. So, yeah, I'm going. Is this your vehicle, son? Uh, yeah. Do you realise what you just did? Yeah, I know. I just, uh, I just wasn't concentrating. It's your responsibility to concentrate fully when you're driving. This is a lethal weapon in the wrong hand. I'm sorry. Sorry is not good enough. That's a busy junction. There was a child killed there last month, and you wouldn't want something like that on your conscience, would you? No. No. But it's too late once you've lost your concentration, isn't it? Yeah. Can I see your driver's license, please? Um, um, he hasn't got one. Just a provisional. Provisional license? And no L plates? I see. Have you got a full driving license, love? Yes, officer. You're not over 21 yet, love? Uh, no. To supervise a learner driver, you must be over 21. Right, you drive. And you, produce your documents at a police station by the date shown. And think about what I said. Daydreaming and driving don't go well together. Have you had a think? I mean, I don't want to put pressure on you, like, but... Ollie's missing you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. Uh... I feel really bad about it. He does need you, Ed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... What about us? Are we gonna make a go of it? I know I had a... I still have got a problem. And you were right, I had to admit that to myself before there was any chance of us getting back together. Well, I've done that, I've admitted it. And I'm gonna see someone to get help for it. I want you to come with me, if you will. Uh, well... Thing is, Rose, um, I've kind of moved on. What do you mean? I mean... I don't think it'd be the right move for... Well, for me to come on. I, I don't understand. I don't really want to come on. You, s you said you wouldn't come back until I admitted I had a problem. Well, I've done that now. Things have changed. What things? Me, you, life, it happens. Eddie, I went into hospital, I had that operation, and since then we've, we've been through doctors, solicitors... You're not blaming what's happened on the operation, are you? I'm just explaining what's gone on. Because the bottom line is, you started gambling, then we lost it. No. The bottom line is, you said you'd stand by me, whatever happens. 
I've done exactly what you wanted, and now you're pulling back on me. Why, Ed? Because things have changed. I'm sorry, Rose. I'm not moving on that, so... You may as well go. But you're going back on your words. I'm not coming home. All right, Ed. Have it your way. Check it out. Here for you. Michael Johnson, by hands. Ooh, feels like a Valentine card to me. Yeah, go away. Hey, you might have a secret admirer. <laughs> Has anything come for me today? Yeah, something pokes my pistol on the side there for us. B U R M A. Burma? What's that? B U R M A. Be undressed and ready, my angel. Are you sly British from you, innit? Well, I don't know what else they got you on, so I thought I might as well get you on myself. I keep that to yourself. People get ideas about us, you know what I mean? See, yeah. Mandy hasn't forgotten you, then. Yeah, maybe she's changed her mind about coming to Australia with us. Oh, yeah, video. What's she sent me a video for? This is from someone very special, someone you love very much. Your loving daughter, Ruth. I stick it on, eh? Yeah, cheers, mate. Right. We don't get the same exam that I got last time. Just relax, remember, mirror, signal, maneuver. You'll pass no bother. Right. Relax, it's a jelly. Oh, you'd be brilliant. Fifth time lucky, eh? Concentration, that's the thing. Yeah, and already I'm facing my first driving conviction. No license, no insurance. Great, eh? Right, well, I'll get off. Fingers crossed, eh? Everything's crossed. There she is, look. Little Ruthie. My little Ruth. I get it. All right, Tess, come in. All right. Hey, she's got my eyes, you know. Look, she hasn't got the rest of your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you fancy a broom, uh, No, I'm not stopping. I was just wondering if you two fancy a night out with yours truly. What's a night? On Valentine's Day. It's going to be couples everywhere. All the more reason for us to go out on behalf of sad single fellas. Look, we don't have to go club. Let me go for a meal, anything. Celebrate the pounds we've lost on the weights. Well, uh, you'll have to check it with the fitness fiora, won't you? I don't think the regime allows us a night out, does it? I don't know. The other one won't hurt. Yeah, hey, look, you've been allowed to play out, so are you on for it then or what? I could be persuaded. It's a while since I've had a night out. Sin? Well, I might fancy it, but I don't want to play gooseberry to you two, you know. You coming all right? Yeah, all right then. What the hell? Who needs women anyway? Anyway, I told you, I 
haven't forgotten. Yeah, so he keeps saying, but I haven't seen any sign of it yet. Well, you're not going to get it till tonight. I've booked us a table for two at a very, very romantic restaurant. One we just happen to own. Tonight? Well, it's going to be one of the busiest nights of the year. I've been run off my feet, hopefully. Max, you won't, because you pay the staff to be run off their feet. Anyway, there's no reason why we can't join in the romantic atmosphere and keep an eye on the way the evening's going. <laughs> it's booked now. So no discussion. Well, as long as you realise I've got to get round the tables, I've got some very special Valentine dishes on tonight. I know. And I've got to make sure the customers are appreciating them. I mean, darling, relax. Tonight's going to be a Valentine's night to remember. Hmm. All right, what's going on? We've been it again. Look at the state. Had another two drivers walk out on me this morning. And those two look like they're coming close and all. I suppose Lindsay's been in touch. Eh? I haven't got time to worry about your love life. Might as well just jack it all in now. Put a Valentine's message in the paper for her, no? It's like that was a waste of money. Don't put the cat on, will you? I thought I was a partner in this business, not a skivvy. What business? So, has the wallpaper stayed up in the flat, then? Just about so good. <laughs> Have you any plans for Valentine's? Hmm. Cosy night in with the Mills and Boo. Candlelit dinner for one sounds familiar, that. I know what it's like when you're single. You feel a bit left out, don't you? <laughs> well, me and the lads, we can see we're going out tonight. Three single fellows. We're making the stand against all couples. Really? Hmm, I know someone who might fancy that. Eddie. Eddie? You sure? Well, look, if he fancies it, we're meeting in the club for a drink first, tell him. Yeah, OK, I'll see what he says. All right, I'll see ya. All right, see you, Terry. At last, I've passed my test. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> oh. Michael Schumacher, if your heart out, Mike Dickholt is finally on the road legally. Oh. Mate, fancy going in for a celebration drive? Well, I'm going to end up tuning the carpets if I'm stuck in here for much longer. Well, we'll have to hide you in the boot, you know. Do you mind? Well, only till we get off the close. Well, it won't exactly be a romantic Valentine drive, will it, eh? With me wedged between your spare tyre and jump leads. Oh, come on, let's do it. This is mad, this. Oh. Will you dab your eye to mine, Carly? Of course, I'll just tell him that he's got no say in the matter. <laughs> yeah, OK. Oh, what if Gary sees us? I well, we just have to make sure he doesn't want me. God, I don't believe it. I've got my license. <laughs> oh, <thank laughs> you. There you go. What's this thing for? The late for a company mascot, isn't it? No, oh, it's to be Valentine's Prezi for Lindsay. So now you're going to give it to her, you don't even know where she is. I can't believe she's left me for real. I'm going to go and check the post, see if there's anything arrived for me while I've been out. She loves Valentine's Day. She's never missed sending me something. It's really chancing at this, you know. I've thrown a few of my half fellow stock boxes in the back, so I'm squeezing out all the blankets over here. In there on the fit. Stop moaning, will you? We're having a day out. <sighs> thinking about you. Oh, something good, I hope. I was wondering if you had anything planned for tonight. Well, nothing much. Why? Have you got something planned? How do you fancy going out for a drink and a meal? Brilliant. I didn't fancy just sitting in. Well, Terry, Mick and Sinbad are going out. I said you'd meet them at the club. All oh, right. Well, I'll just give them a bell. Tell them we've got something else planned, eh? Who's we? <laughs> Me and you. We're going out, aren't we? You just said. Oh. I got you these. And, er, uh, card. Shouldn't you be giving these to Rosie? Rosie won't be wanting stuff like this. She's never been one for flowers and cards and that. So, where do you fancy going tonight? We'll have to book. Look, Eddie, you've, you've got this all wrong. I never meant you and me going out. I meant just you with Terry and the lads. But it's Valentine's. Oh, all the more reason we shouldn't be together tonight. And you did say you were in the mood for going out. <sighs> Yeah, but with Terry and the others, I hardly know them. Oh, you know Mick. And anyway, I said you'd go now, so you're not going to make me look a liar in front of them, are you? No. Oh, well. Doesn't look like I've got much choice, does it? Oh, um, Daddy. Thanks. The lovely. What's up? 
It's Gary. Oh, no. Just stay down, will you? Let get rid of him. All right. You all right, mate? How's it going? It's the same. Still no sign of her. Ah, well. That's the way it goes, eh? That's a nice dog you've got there. It's for Lynn's and my little girl. But I can't give it to him if they're not here, can I? No, 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 that's a shame now. Don't half miss him, you know. Um, listen, mate, I've got a little stock here to drop off at my dad, so. Um, do you want to end? You know, I've not got much on. No, 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 it won't take me long, honest, I'm all right. Yeah, sorry, uh, don't hold you back from your work like that. Uh, just can't get him out of my head, you know. I hope she hasn't shacked up with some fella somewhere. I couldn't handle that. Well, I mean, if she's done that, then she's not worth worrying about, is she? Nah, she wouldn't do that. She knows I love her and Kylie too much. Listen, um, I've, I've got to get off. Could you do us a favour and shut that Kylie's door? Yeah, of course. Oh, nice one. Uh, see you, mate. See ya. I thought he was going to get in. You all right? Yeah. Just carry on driving. Oh, so good. You should have seen in about five seconds. Really? Hey, you never told us you'd have a Valentine's special tonight. Why are you going to give the punters what they want these days? Can't get away from it, tell me. It keeps the cash coming in. Mm. Do you reckon anyone's saying a pull? I don't know. I spoke to Sarah, but she seems to think he had nothing else on anyway. Better keep off the subject of romance if he does turn up. Things have been a bit iffy for him recently. Yeah, well, he's not the only one, is he? Mind you, with Sandy dishing on the bus, isn't he? <laughs> I thought you'd be drinking all that Australian stuff, you know, getting used to the real thing. Nah, if I go. Well, you don't have second thoughts, are you? Well, he had me half dead set on it until today. Why, what's so special about today? Well, he's seen his little baby girl on video and he's gone all gooey eyed over, haven't you? No, I haven't. It's just that, well, I think I've finally realised that I might have something to stay in England for. I mean, I don't want to be too far away from her while she's growing up, do I? So, you're stuck with me. Turning down all that sun and surf, eh? Yeah, and the shavers. Mm. <laughs> Listen, mate, my little Ruth's the only woman I'm interested in now. Hey, come on, I think we'd better be getting a move on, you know. Look at the state of us, eh? Sad and single on Valentine's night, of all nights. Ah, well, all right. Not many comes old and infomaniacs wouldn't cure. <laughs> <laughs> Not one woman between us. Uh, I've got one that fancies me. Who? Ellen, her name is. I met her out in Florida with Barry. She was all over me. Yeah, in your dreams. <laughs> oh, come on, honest. She was. Oh, she was dead fit and all, you know. Oh, yeah. She's American. No, she's British. She's just working out there. She hasn't got a mate, has she? Yeah, no, too. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's be off. I'm starving. Where are we going? I've booked us a table at Maxi Farnham's restaurant. I thought we'd spoil ourselves. Very nice. What about Eddie? Hmm. Look for him on the way down, can't we? See where he's going. Yeah, come on, let's up yeah. up, eh? Welcome. Well, to us, eh, boys? Yeah. yeah. Sad, single, but still sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, so, what do you think? The perfect romantic ambiance. And fully booked. Which is more important. Do you know, I think you should order a free bottle of champagne for your brilliant PR person. Well, I think we might be able to manage that now. What do you think of the menu? Well, I'm very impressed. Oysters, they should kickstart a few fading relationships. Passion fruit sorbet, sounds like a winner. Strawberries dipped in chocolate, my fave. Cost me a fortune, Miss Tambia. Had to get them imported, especially, mind you. A few good nights like this should keep the bank manager sweet. We'll soon make this the place to be. We'll crank up the press coverage, get mm -hmm. a few famous faces in. Win a few awards. I can't wait. <laughs> you know, I think I might have to have the oysters. <laughs> Back in the Oh, look at this lot. It's all Valentine's in here as well. You can't get away from them. All right, Max, a uh, table for four booked in the name of Sullivan, please. Oh, right. We'd only been expecting couples. Uh, not double booked, are we, Max? Hey, uh, yeah. it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's all flowers and art. Yeah, and couples. Well, that's all right, because we are two couples, aren't we? Yeah. Don't think much of yours, though, Terence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. 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 thought, man, you were very much nice for you to take it to your table. Yes, thanks, Max. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Marcy had on there Valentine's night. Like. Yeah, romance isn't dead, you know. We had it up on the scoreboard at Goodison, didn't you? Go away. Yeah. It said, Marcia, will you please marry me? Loves him, man. Yeah, that was another one of his failures. <laughs> yeah. After all the trouble I went to, we said women are not worth it, mate. They're just not worth it. 
Especially ones called Jenny. Hey, wash your mouth out. Mm. She was enough trouble to last me a lifetime. Hey, you must have pulled a few crackers in your time, Ed. Well, you know, nothing special. Well, apart from Rosie. Yeah, I suppose so. Um... So, listen, says, uh, what's this? I don't like them. Uh, very intelligent. Works at Liverpool University. Marine biologist, no yeah, less. brain surgeon as well, is she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, she's fit as well. What's she doing with you, then? <laughs> the suckers for glamour. Hey, the words Terry Sullivan and glamour are not even in the same dictionary. <laughs> and, of course, there's the uniform. What uniform? I told her I was an airline pilot. You are? An airline pilot? And she believed it. And why not? How many scouts are airline pilots, do you know? <laughs> Couldn't you come up with something more believable, like, yeah, an astrophysicist or something? <laughs> 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 now, I'm gonna have to say something. They're, they're ruining the ambiance. Max, relax. Enjoy yourself. Our Valentine's night isn't even going to begin until the last customer's gone home. Well, we're hardly going to be able to go home for an early night, aren't we? Who said anything about going home? Huh? I'm sure we'll be able to find a suitable spot. What? Here. Yeah. Oh, we haven't even christened the place yet. We could try the kitchen, <laughs> for starters. <laughs> I don't think the chef will be too pleased about that. <clears throat> More champagne, darling. <laughs> Secret admirer? It's from Carl. Oh, uh, so are the flowers. All right. Fancy our Carl remembering Valentine's Day all the way out there in Dubai. You're missing him. It's made me think about him, you know? Yeah. Can't be easy for you being on your own. Gets lonely, doesn't it? It does, yeah. But I keep myself busy, though. More things with you. I've never been so loud, to be honest. No, I, I could understand Eddie having a fit when I blew all that money, and I could understand him storming out, but I always thought he'd come back. He's... He's told me it's all over. He's told me there's no chance for us now. When did he say this? Yesterday. You sure that's what he was really saying? <sighs> Couldn't have been clearer. People say things when they're upset, but they don't always mean them. <clears throat> when someone you've loved for years and years... But when they tell you that it's... They don't want you anymore, it's just... Oh, it's like a knife. It's like... It's like someone twisting a knife in here. And... If you really care about them, you just can't let that happen. That's why I bought this round for him. Just so he knows I'm not giving up. I'll make sure that he gets it. We were rock solid for years, me and Eddie. It's gonna take some getting back, but I'm determined we'll get there. Listen. When he comes in, do you want me to see if I can get him to call around and see you? It doesn't matter what time it is. Tell him I'll be there for him. So he says now what the master says. Sorry, mate, I'm not really a well then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, does anyone fancy a brandy or something? Uh, no, uh, not for me, mate. Uh, time I was in bed. Yeah, not for me. Can't cope with the hangovers like I used to. All right, I've got a hangover my belt after that meal. Don't worry, mate. I'll be sweating in the gym tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Last to leave, eh? Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's enough romance for me for one year. <laughs> what a sad bunch we are, eh? All those couples are off home for a romantic run between the sheets. Look at the state of us. Yeah, and they'll all have fallen out with each other by tomorrow morning, and all. <laughs> it is a bit of romance for you. Does this lad I know and this girl? Hey, I want a name and a phone number. But only if she's fancy. Oh, yeah. well, honest, look, it's like a gangster movie, this. Listen, fellas, uh, I hope you don't mind, but I've got to be up early for work in the morning, so I'll have to get off. I'll see if the cab's outside, you eh? Yeah, Sam, tell them we're coming now, eh? OK, yeah, all right, Ed, we'll see you in a minute, eh? Let's make a move, eh, boys? I'll get the coats, eh? All right, sir. Oh, uh, well, what about this couple, then? Right, there's this lad and there's this girl. They're mad about each other, the perfect match. But the lad's family hate the girl's family, and the girl's family are in this feud with the lad's owl fella. Oh, it's like West Side Story, isn't it? The Sharks and the Jets. Yeah, but what's even worse is the girl's already married to this real no hope. Well, that's like sleeping with the enemy, innit, Julia Roberts? And they can't even be seen in public together. Well, can't they just get off somewhere? 
Well, they're, they're trying, but they'd go anywhere or anything, but they've got no dosh. So who are they, then? Oh, oh, I don't think I should say. Oh, come on, Sarah. I mean, I can keep a secret. Say, come on, fellas. The meter's running down here. Yeah, all right. We're on our way. Thank you, too. Thanks very much. That meal was cracker. Good. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Hope there wasn't too much Valentine's Day overkill for you. Hey, don't worry about that. Born romantics, me and Terry. See ya. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Right. Well, I've got you all to myself at last. And I told the babysitter we might be late. Very late. Hmm. What a pair, eh? This has got to be the worst Valentine's Day of my life. I was convinced Lindsay would be in touch today. Always been a special day for me and Jack's, this. Valentine's. She's always come back to me in the past, you know. Yeah, it always come back to me. Not a card, not even a phone call. You stop that stupid dog gawping at me. It's getting on my nerves. <sighs> I'm going to bed. Good. At least I'll get some peace. Oh, well, cracks. Just you and me, eh, girl? Yes. But not for long, eh? Because we'll get our Jackie back. Yeah, we'll get her back. Somehow. Uh, sorry to disturb you at this hour of the night, you know. No, it's all right. My dad and Bev have just gone up. We were just watching a film. Look, uh, I hope you don't mind, but I've told Sinbad about your situation. Don't worry, he sworn to secrecy. Anyway, he's got an offer for you, haven't you, Sin? The kind of offer you might not be able to refuse. Oh, what's that 10% discount on the window cleaner, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Behave, will you? Go on, tell them. Well, I've got this Uncle Jay, right? And he's been in touch, and he's sorted out this live-in caretaker's job for a couple. Well, he'd prefer a couple with a kiddie, you know, someone a bit more stable. And he thought it'd suit me and Mandy, but things being the way they are, we won't be able to take it up, but, well... Well, we got to thinking, with it being Valentine's Day and that, how many couples do we know who need the chance to get away together? And I've got a little toddler, and you two are top of the list. Well, thanks for thinking of us, then. Sounds really good, what do you think? We are desperate, I mean, anything that would get us away would be brilliant. So, where does this Uncle Jackie yours live, then? South Wales. Er, uh, New South Wales. Australia? Well, the other side of the world. Unless they've moved it, yeah? Well, I'd be there like a shot myself if I had someone to go with me, you know. So what do you reckon, then? Well, we haven't really thought of going that far. You don't have to decide now. You need time to yourselves to talk about it. Yeah, but don't take too long, you know, cos I'll have to let him know quickly, otherwise he'll start looking for someone else for the job. Yeah, but we're gonna have to talk, aren't we? Uh, come on, we better get off. Mickle have made that coffee. See you. Uh, yeah, well, let us know quickly. You know what's going on. Yeah, I will do, sir. Nice one for oh, that. Yeah, yeah. See you. See you. Sorry, Pat. See, yeah. see you later. <sighs> Straight here. What do you think? I don't know. I suppose it's got one thing going for it. And what's that? Well, Gary wouldn't have a hope in hell chance of tracking us down there, would he? Hiya. Good night. Ah, uh, you know, so so. But he had a whale of a time. I'd have been happy staying in with you. Me and Rosie would have been. She called round to see you. Ended up staying for coffee. What does she want? Just a chat. I didn't mind. I know what it feels like sitting at home on your own. <laughs> I didn't want you to stay in by yourself. It was your idea I went out, remember? Just in case she mentions it, I told her the card and the flowers were from Carl. She brought something for you as well. Valentine's busy, she said. Do you want to make a drink or something? No, I'd better get back to bed. I've got to be up early to iron Becker's stuff for school. Fair enough. Night. Good night.
many times have I got to tell you? I don't care how much your paper's offering, 5,000 or 5 million. I've got nothing to say about Shane Cochran's death. There's nothing to tell. on that one. It's meant to be like that, huh? No belated valentines. No, I didn't even get one. Nah, for me, I meant. Thought your dad might have dropped one off. You know what he's like remembering birthdays and stuff a day late. Listen, I'm going out. I'll uh, see you later. Oh, yeah, bye, love. Australia's a seriously long way where you know. Anywhere's a long way if you haven't got the money to get there. <sighs> Just wish we were there now. Oh, just think. We could be living a normal life, no hiding away. I could walk down the street, Lincoln, you. Yeah. Could kiss you at a bus stop. And what would we be doing at a bus stop? All right, just because you passed your test. <laughs> oh, but we could kiss anywhere, though, couldn't we? As long as we knew mm. Gary wasn't round the corner waiting to pounce on us. Yeah, but Australia, though. It... It'd be like a complete break, wouldn't it? A completely new life where no one would know us. I'm dreaming, aren't I? We've got no chance. Well, I could always get on to Simbad again, you know, find out more about the job, how much dosh we need. It's that good of him to think of us, wasn't it? Should I do it? Yeah. Go for it. I got nothing to lose, have we? Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Hiya. Where's the boomerang, you? Do you want a crisp? Why are you bothered about getting fat? Do you want one of these boxes? Um, they're okay. Right, where do you want them? Just whatever the space, please. Hiya. Hiya. See, so you've still got your love slave following you around. Oh, very funny. Your flowers are ready if you want to pick them up. Oh, we'll tell. They're just on the counter in there. Okay. Should you mind helping me with this? Of course not. Happy to be a service. Oh, they're lovely, thanks. A bit late for Valentine's, innit? Hey, I'm just going out to see Armay. Get him to sign the cars. What did I say? The flowers are for a brother's grave. It's two years this week since he died. So, you're definitely interested. Well, we think so. It's just come a bit out the blue, that's all. Taking a bit of time to sink in. So will you tell us a bit more about what's involved then? Well, the jobs live in, apparently. There's a caretaker's flat and it'd be just general maintenance and cleaning. We can handle that, can't we? Oh, and uh, the garden, keeping that tidy. Do you think your uncle will go for it, you know, with him not knowing us? Oh, I'm sure he would. Well, he doesn't know me. He's been over there that long. Are you sure you're not interested? Well, to be honest, mate, I was going to go. But I've got a kiddie of my own now, and I reckon if I went, that'd be the last I'd ever see her, and I couldn't handle that. How old is she? She's four months. She's a little cracker. So, uh, I phoned my Uncle Jake, yeah? What's up? Well, it's just a dosh. I mean, I don't know if we've got enough money to get out there. All right, well, that's something I can't help you with, I'm afraid. I mean, we're still trying to sort a few things out, you know, see if we can raise it. Yeah, well, you know where I am. So, give us a shout once you've emptied the piggy bank, all right? Yeah, we will do. Only, uh, I'll have to know one way or the other. My mum said my Uncle Jake wants someone to start in the next two weeks. See ya.
Isn't you being scooped? No. Uh, I've got a simple present for my mum. It's her birthday soon. Hi, how's things? Fine. How's Lee? Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna get off. I can't make my mind up. Okay. Thanks for your help. Let me carry this, Lolly. Oh, so the age of chivalry is not quite dead. Um, right, let's have a look at this new stock then, shall we? It's like Christmas, isn't it? Can I help you at all? Did you want anything in particular? Uh, no, um, I was just wondering, do you do wreaths and things? Um, we do, yeah. When would you want it for? Uh, now. Sorry, we need to make more notice than that. Oh, man. Uh, fair enough, I'll leave it then. Thanks. Do you think he's on something? No. Well, if he gives you any hassle, give us a call, eh? Oh, yeah, I will do. I'll be at home. Max is treating me to lunch. Oh, very nice. <laughs> what about you? Got anything special planned for lunch? Eh, just the usual. A bit of a snack, you know. <laughs> Still loving you and missing you, our oh, kid. Oh, that's nice. Um, has my dad already been in the cemetery? No, I said I'd meet him there after he's been the doctors. Right, so I'll get off then. Um, I thought you two were supposed to be in love. That means you're not allowed to smile at each other and be happy occasionally, you know. You haven't got about 1,200 quid you could lend us, have you? Thinking of having a heavy nice house, are you? No, we've been offered a job in Australia. Oh, and a flat. It's uh, Sinbad's uncle that we'd be working for. Oh, I know you wanted to get away, but Australia? There's no point thinking about it anyway. We can't raise the cash. And he reckons the job will be taken within two weeks if we don't get out there. Well, have you tried asking me dad? Yeah, well, he said he'd put something towards the airfare, but it's going to take a lot more than that by the time everything gets sorted. I wish I could help you, Mike, but I haven't got that kind of money. I'm having enough problems getting out there for Shane's funeral. We weren't into or anything. We're resigned to it now, aren't we? Listen, this Australia thing, is this something you really, really want to do? It just seems like such a good opportunity. Never mind. We'll find somewhere else to go, hopefully. Yeah, well, I'll see ya. See you later, Jack. Well, chef's done us proud here. I hope so, because I am starving. Any interesting mail? Apart from me. Uh -huh. Well, yes, a postcard from Dad and a postcard from Mum. Oh, right. right. Where are they? Well, Dad, worryingly, is in Malacca, an old colonial port, and Mum is exploring the Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur, nearly a hundred miles away. They've separated? Well, from the tone of the cards, it sounds as if they're driving each other mad, and Mum's finally had enough of Dad and gone off on her own. Mm. Oh, well, come on. Tuck in. <laughs> It'll sort itself out, I'm mm. sure. I hope so. Yeah, part of the course, knowing your Mum and Dad. <laughs> I bet you they've had some minor disagreement over where to eat or something. In a couple of days' time, they'll be behaving like a couple of young lovebirds again. Anything else? Mmm, dish. Uh-huh. Oh! Mmm, make sure I'm busy that day. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what do you think? Well, I think it's quite tasty. It's very nice and crunchy, but I do think that the dressing is a little bit heavy on the balsamic vinegar. Yeah, I thought that. I'll tell you what, try this. Mm-hmm. Mmm, oh, that's really nice. We could do some more lunches like this. Well, if we can please you, I'm sure we can please our customers. Just so long as they keep on coming through the door and spending vast amounts of money. Yeah, well, got a good return <laughs> on Valentine's night. Pity we can't have a theme night every night. Do you know what we should be doing? What? An advertising feature. Hiya. There was some letters came for you at home. Insurance stuff, I think. So, oh. did you enjoy your chocolates? Probably a plane, I'd buy me a Valentine's. I just want you to know how much I still care for you. How much I want you back. Well, you shouldn't have wasted your money. It's not like we've got loads, is it? No, after all the years we've had together, I think I deserve better than this. Don't you, Ed? Yeah, probably. I'm sorry, Rose. Eddie. Can't we 
just talk to each other like civilized human beings. We're done talking. What are you doing here? I was just, you know, paying me respects. What gives you the right to come here? Nothing, I suppose. I come when I can. Most weeks. Sundays. When it's quiet and everyone's gone out. Don't know why, really. Just feel I should. I thought you'd have screamed blue murder at me by now. Screaming will bring Tony back. It won't, no. Listen, I'm sorry you found me here like this. I'll go. Give you some time when you know. How can you live with yourself when you've been responsible for someone getting killed like that? <laughs> no, I couldn't. Well, you can't really. It's just there, eating away inside your head. Never goes away. Didn't stop you selling drugs, though, did it? Listen, Jackie. After what I did to your Tony, I should have taught myself, shouldn't I? But I didn't even have the nerve to think about it, never mind, do it. Do you ever pray when you're here? There's no God stupid enough to listen to any prayer, I'd say. Your mum prayed for you. After it happened. But I'm not like me, Mum. I'm not soft like you. Listen, Jackie, there's nothing I can do to bring them back. Your Tony, your shame. But look, I've got a cab there, and I've got an house. You can have the lot. I'll sell them. I'll burn all the money you get. I'll, I'll burn the house. Look, Jackie, anything. Please, I don't care anymore. Anything that'll just make it up to you. Please, Jackie, here's the keys. Take them. I don't want none of it. Oh, Tony was like me, Mum. Soft as anything. When you have a little brother, your mum and dad are always on at you. It's your job to look after them. Make sure he stays out of trouble. Don't let him run through any puddles. He holds his hand when he's crossing the road. You grow up hating him as much as loving him, because you can never get away from him. I taught our Tony how to ride his bike, you know. I taught him his green cross code. I helped to teach him how to tie his shoelaces. How to tell time. What a waste, eh? My kid brother's life just snuffed out because you were off your head. You're not even worth praying for. from my day. You know, the most daring we ever got was putting up easy rider film posters. We've done it ages ago now. Oh, born to be wild, we thought we were then. Not born to be middle-aged with grown-up kids and, and mortgages. <laughs> do you want me to run over your carpet, love? It's not worth it till I finish this. Well, I'd rather do it now while I've got the cleaner house. You've done the whole house. What are you expecting visitors? Well, it's just for when your dad comes back. I want him to come home to a nice, tidy house. You mean if he comes back? You have to have hope, Lee. Well, it's the same with anything in life. If you want something badly enough, you've got to be prepared to fight for it. I'm working on your dad, believe me. Do you think he's going to want to fight to make things right again? Yeah. 
Yeah, I do. We've had a rough patch, fair enough. Well, the same as all marriages do. But we're all human, we all have our ups and downs. So, when someone's going through a bad patch, what do you reckon is the best thing to do for them? You know, like a mate or someone? You'd have to stand by them. Make sure they know they've got a friend, someone who cares for them. You can't do more than that, can you? Why, love? Do you know someone going through a bad patch? No, no, I was just wondering. Lee, I know this has been a bad time, but believe me, I'm doing every last thing I can to get your dad to come home. I bet you'd love him to see this lot, wouldn't you? You saw it the other day, well, before I put all this stuff on. Yeah, but he hasn't seen it finished, though, has he? Let me know when you want me to over. Hi, Jack. Oh, yeah. Can I come in a minute? Yeah, of course. What's wrong? Um, is Lindsay in? Yeah, I'm here. Did you go to cemetery? I did, yeah. Are you all right? Do you want a coffee or something? Uh, no, I'm all right. I found your dad there. He looked terrible. I ended up having a real go at him. You know, about our Tony and stuff. Well, only what he deserves from what I know about all that. Anyway, when I came away, I was really wound up. And I did something I hope I'm not going to regret. I went to talk to a newspaper. They're going to run my side of Shane's story. I no, haven't. I just did it. Must have been a hard decision for you, that. Well, if I'd have thought about it too much, I'd have talked myself out of it. Well, I suppose you've got to go with the way you feel. But I thought you didn't want to tell them anything. Well, I didn't, but they offered me five grand for my story. Five grand? So, anyway, I've come round to see if you've thought any more about going to Australia. We don't stand a chance. I mean, not unless we win the lottery or something. I mean, do you still want to go? I mean, really, really want to go? <sighs> well, there's no contest. We'd go if we could. Well, start packing. The five grand's yours. We can't let you do that, Jackie. Of course you can. I don't want the money. That's why I did it, so you two could make a new start. You know, <sighs> a new life and everything. Something good may as well come out of Shane's death. <laughs> well, that'd be brilliant, Jack. Thanks. <sighs> But only if you're totally sure. It's done, all right. Now, just forget it and start making your arrangements. Looks like we'll be heading over there together, eh? <sighs> Jack, <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know why we'd ever pay you back. Just love each other and be happy, eh? That'll pay me back enough. <sighs> That's what Shane would have said anyway. I'll see you. <laughs> Listen, I'll thanks, sis. See you, Jack. Thanks. That's it. No more excuses. Australia, here we go. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. All right. I um, just wanted a quick word about our Lee. Something happened? No, no, it's... um. Well, it'd be a lot easier to explain if you came round to ours. Uh, can't you just tell me here? Well, he's been doing this mural thing in his bedroom. It's really, really good, and he'd love you to see it. It's took him ages, and, well, it mean a lot to him. Fair enough. I'll call around later. What time will he be in? Oh, he's in there all the time at the moment. Can hardly tear himself away. OK. I'll see you then. Eddie. Thanks. He'll be made up. See you. You want elastic? Every time you go out, you're back five minutes later. Katie, I want to talk to you. You don't look very well, you know. Oh, thanks for the compliment. I'm fine. But you ain't on me nerve, that's the problem. Katie, when I was in before, I saw your food. Am I allowed to eat now? Well, of course, yeah, but not that much. Not when you're supposed to be on a diet. There was this girl who was in our class. She used to eat in secret like that. I'm at work. I mean, what's secret about that? We have these people in to talk to us about eating disorders and that. And when I see the way you're behaving, I keep thinking back to it and... I think there might be something wrong with you. 
come on, Lee. You want to talk at school? Doesn't make you some kind of medical expert. I know that, but I hate seeing you. Not well. Lee, I'm fine. Look, with us being good mates and that, you're going to be the first to know this. So I want it to be a secret between us, OK? Yeah, OK. Know what? I've been eating loads in one go for a reason. Because from tomorrow, I stop completely. You're going to stop eating? Yeah, just for a while. That sounds that dangerous. Well, of course it can be if you don't know what you're doing. It's just a one-off thing, you know, to clear out your system, to clear all the toxins. Loads of people do it. All oh, right. So, if you want to hang around here, why don't you make yourself useful and put the kettle on? Yeah, OK. Uh, what do you want, coffee? Um, no, just hot water for me, thanks. Oh, hiya. Uh, come on up. All right. Hi. Um, I thought I'd call down sooner rather than later. I don't want Ali thinking I'm not interested in what he's getting up to. Oh, oh he'd be dead knocked. He's missed. He'd gone out by the time I come home. Well, you can still have a look at his room, though. Oh, well, uh, maybe I should call back when he's in. I get the guy to talk off him then. Um, no, you might as well see it. Come on, now you're here. <sighs> um, I'll make us a cup of then. Come on. Uh, not for me, thanks. Oh, come on, Eddie. You don't have to keep running away from me. I'm not. Well, stay then. Come on, just five minutes. I'd rather not. You know that. <sighs> I just don't understand. After all the things you said to me when I was in the hospital, you'd always stand by me, you said whatever happened. Yeah, well, that was then, wasn't it? <sighs> this is the first time in your life I've ever seen you give up on something without a fight. What's changed? There's nothing to talk about. I don't know what else I can say to you. Please, Eddie, I just want to know, what have I got to do to win you back? Look! <sighs> I know this is going to sound mad, and I know it's not what you want to hear. Well, go on, then. I'm in a new situation now. Uh, what does that mean? It means I'm starting fresh with someone new. Well, I'm another woman. You wanted to know. <laughs> you with another woman? That's all I'm saying. What do you have you? Someone I can trust. Who doesn't blow all her money on gambling. Someone I've fallen in love with. I don't believe you. I never wanted you to. Who, Eddie? Catherine Cookson's The Girl is on ITV shortly. Here on 4 next, Sybil finds divorcing her husband's the easy bit. The difficult bit is to get him to leave home and do some work. <laughs>